<laughs> Hello netizens and sexually deviant weirdos, we return to Dark Souls 2 Scholar of the First Sin. I, uh, you may notice I'm in a different spot. And that I have a different soul total, and that I am now wielding paid spear. I went and did what I said I would do and went farming for a bunch of titanite shards, of which I got none. Check me out. This is me farming for tiny ice shards and getting absolutely none of them. I'm pretty damn certain I got a whole bunch of, out of these farmers, but I got everything but regular tiny ice shards out of these guys. But I did get a bunch of souls, which I used to level up a little bit more and get another upgrade. Still and also, I went to the old coots and I respect so that I could have the stats necessary to wield paid spear and do wielding mode. In the power stance mode. And that way, I will at least get a little bit more power that way. And I also went and upgraded a little bit on the this uh, fantastic super friend. Also dropped off all of my, my, my uh, you know, all the menial shit that I really didn't want to do. Uh, in a regular episode, went to the awesome trading little guys for soft and silky things. And I got nothing of value. I mean, I guess they are valuable, but they're kind of shitty. And we're going to go back. While we go back, I'll continue telling you what I did. I... Wait, 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 wait. I had 28,000 souls. I wanted to use them before yeah, leaving. Nice. This little lady. Totally going to... Did I use this? Yeah, I totally did. Yeah, yeah. Um, yes. Do this. Now I have 40 dexterity. Like you already saw in that just fantastic montage. And so then I wanted to do was, you know, get a little bit more endurance. Because, and I don't know if it's worth it, but I'm going to get it anyway. Because I would like to be able to use more of my moves without running out of stamina. So that is what just now happened. Let's go back to the Lost Bastille, because I realized while well, looking at my own video that I have picked up a freaking key. <laughs> and I don't know where this key goes, but I am sure there is a door I can open, so... You know, I can just go back to the tower apart. And I'm going to start trying doors. And this might take a little while. But you know, this is the type of thing that I don't really want to look up. And I am playing a lot of Dark Souls, like, almost non-stop. So these episodes are probably lagging behind in, in comments-wise. I am not able to catch up to your comments. Uh, I have gone this way. There's just the Pursuer down there, so we don't want to go down there. I'm going to go back through all these areas invaded by Dark Spirits Zenaris. Okay, well, probably we're about to die. Hopefully not. Pretty sure. This person is a real nice person. That's not going to kill me at all. Shall we face them atop a, atop a building and have an incredible time? Actually, I cannot go all the way to the top, so this is not going to work. But I guess I could, you know, just wait for him here forever. I also reverted to human mode, thinking maybe I get an extra chance of getting loot. I don't know how it works, but I figure I would. I guess we can <laughs> wait here and maybe do a plunge attack. Or maybe, you know, you, I can just move forward. Oh, there he is. What do I want to do? Let's uh, try to shoot him. <laughs> this is cool. I... Never even realized this is a thing I could do. There you go. <laughs> yeah, yeah, in my uh, arrows. Man, oh man, he's uh, doing a lot of that. He's actually going to take a lot of time to shoot him down. I bet he's just walking towards me without a care in the world. He's like, bitch, I'm going to own you no matter what you do. Let me wave. Joy! <laughs> this is so cowardly. This is going to be such an ownage that he's going to whoop on my ass. Wonder if he's just going to come up here. I am very, very afraid right now. Very afraid indeed. But how about we just, uh, you know, face this guy in an honorable manner. We're going to go back down. We're going to just simply face this guy and just take the loss that is going to happen. He seems to be well equipped to whoop my ass. Nope. 
Wow! It's, uh... I guess I can heal. It would be awesome to get him a backstab out of this guy, but... Uh, yeah, there's, uh, I guess, a little bit of lag. Here, eat a few nice thrusts. You garbage eater, you're not going to do very well here. <laughs> I don't think so. I don't think you're going to be... in this world very much longer. Oh man, he totally blocked that. Nope! I feel that should have totally been damaged, but it did not work out that way. I don't know what he's doing. But he's definitely a little too slow for me to die. I don't know what that was. It's like he gets, uh... Ah! Maybe I can do the raw attack. That was a lot of damage. All it takes is one more hit. I guess we can just be here forever. Or maybe I can just brute force it, like uh, cheese damage in Street Fighter. Just chip, chip, chip. Till he's dead. There you go. <laughs> chip damage for the win. He was not the greatest warrior ever conceived. You know, everybody that I kill, I feel like, wow, they had to be so bad for me to have killed them. So, congratulations on entering the Hall of Infamy, that is, the people that I defeat. It is pretty awesome that Fate Spear is able now to basically own all my enemies without restraint. Anyway, I would love to find these doors that I have missed, and I'm very much hoping that I'm not going in entirely the wrong direction. I guess we're going to redo a lot of this stuff just hoping to find that is a one-hit kill. I am fond of that. Not too fond of getting known by these dudes uh, because they swarm my ass. But boy, it's a real difference to have Pate's, Pate's spear in my offhand instead of that disgusting wing spear plus one. Oh, my bad. I need to turn off my light. But now it's so much closer, I don't even have to pause the video for it, oh man. This is slightly less professional because you get to see the whole process of the whole one second it takes me to turn off the light. But I am now. Man, you're just owned by me. Key? No, this was already openable like this. And it's uh, bad, bad times to be had by everybody. <laughs> okay. Well, that was a dick move by Dark Souls. This is a place that I've already gone, probably. But anyway, one, what do I use this key for? My bad that I am wondering. And you know what? I think this is silly, right? It is silly to be spending the whole episode looking for a key and retreading everything. So I'm going to shut up and then I'll just edit out my search for the door that I require to find right now. So I'll see you on the other side. Oh, hello there! It's a secret door! I mean, I don't think this is going to be the thing that I need to find. But I'm go oh shit, I should attack that. Alright, no mimic. Rouge water. It's not rogue water, it is rouge water. And that sounds like one of them water types. I don't see any here. Ah, yeah, there it is. Crimson water of unknown origin. Restores HP and spell uses. Though, though known to some as Red Holy Water, not everyone acknowledges its holy status. Well, okay, this is something I probably will never use. Because I ain't got no need for spells. And it, yeah, it's cool to restore HP. But I am not going to be hang up on that. Anyway, keep searching. Stop talking. Ooh, I have not gone this way. St again, I don't know if this is something that... uh. Um, will lead me where I want to go, but I have not gone this way, so quite clearly I want to record it. Can I jump to the other side? Question number one. Question number two. 
is is that area a new space or somewhere I've already been at the bottom of this pit? Let's find out. Hey, what will we do? Plane butterfly. Not terribly interested in any of these. Hello, friend. You seem so enthused to see me. Well, I am also happy to see you. Let's uh, be friends together. There you go. This is the way, the way I make friends. I hope that you uh, you approve. Uh, let's see if I can jump to the other side. No problem. Give me that. Large soldier, nameless, nameless soldier is cool. I have been there. Yeah, remember? I failed to fall into a trap. I felt pretty proud of it. But hopefully this will be somewhere that, you know, it's progress. And it's not... Ah, oh, jeez, this is back to where I was, isn't it? Ah, oh, damn it, it was just loot. Too bad. It's okay, but too bad. <laughs> Alluring skull. Yeah, I totally opened this earlier. You guys need to not be so enthusiastic about the hugs. What? Alright, well, back to exploring. My bad. I didn't get some loot out of it. Ooh, it's a door. Might be the fantastic magical door? No, it's just a door. Okay, I've been here before. <laughs> I remember you, old friend. Oh boy. Ah! Okay. Did I ever go up this way? Let's find out. There's absolutely nothing to be gained by this. But there is that piece of loot that I uh, neglected earlier. And have I gone this way? This is totally a dead end that does nothing. Oh boy. <laughs> this guy is a little enthusiastic. I like their... I like their spirit. I like your spunk, kid. Now just... Lay down. I've been here already. But I'm kind of rediscovering my youth. Rediscovering my sexuality with these guys. It's kind of cool. Loop there. Hey! There is the place that I was th talking about earlier. I have no idea why I missed it. I think I saw it and then completely forgot about it. Hello, friend. You seem, you seem waiting for somebody to slip by. I'm glad that I saw you before you did. Eight life gems. I appreciate that. Okay. So, hey, we found it. We found it. Absolutely, we found it. I don't see the door, though. Does this just open and close all the time? That's weird. Yeah, this is the elevator I used earlier. Way back. Previous episode. I do want to drop to that... Ooh! Where are you? What the? There's a bonfire there. Super WTF. But... It's a bonfire blocked by a goddamn piece of garbage. Ah... <sighs> I would totally use my branch on this guy. Actually, I have no branches. Use the steel key. Look at that. That's good. Ooh, give me that. 55 dragon bone fire bomb. Not terribly enthused. I'm still finding out this. This is just a drop. This makes no sense. I guess it's a way to get quickly off that uh, bonfire. So I guess, you know, if. You're completely unable to get past that statue. It means you had to walk all the way from the bonfire. I would like to find out where this bonfire is. Before redoing all this, you see? Because I am sure I'm going to die beyond that fog wall. So I would rather not have to lose my mind trying to find this place again. It doesn't seem like it's very easy to do. I just went up there. I would like to get there. How did I get there before? Pretty sure it's through the... I passed these stairs somehow, right? That's that. Oh, that's right. And then I drop from here? Man, but that looks like such a long drop. There's no way I can survive that. Ah, <sighs> for science. Hey, I had to survive that. Bonfire ascetic. Now, I have the problem of not being able to get out of here. But we're going to heal up to, t to Max. And hope this doesn't kill me. Uh, ouch. My poor, poor feet. 
<laughs> okay, this is good. This is good. I am in a uh, unknown place now, but oh, I I see. It's our old friend, the weird clawed monster that we killed one off, and now, and then completely forgot about. All right. Well, if you're not going to do anything, I will, man. I will show you the pointy end of my weapons. Alrighty, so with that, and now I'm going this way. There's more of these friends. I feel like I'm not going... To oh, shit. <laughs> I'm not going the right direction. Uh, because I totally lost track of where I am, and what I've done, and who I am, and what I'm supposed to do. But we'll be okay. We'll be okay. Don't worry about it. Can I just leave without killing you guys? Probably the worst idea I ever had. Okay, we're here. This is really strange. I am just so lost right now. <laughs> uh, but I wanted to do all this. There's still enemies here. Let's not be too crazy about exploring. Hello. This guy's determined to anally plunge his tools into my butt socket. I'd rather not have any more relations with him. Again, this is the dog area. It's okay, 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 we're, we're discovering things. From the dog area, we can roll back and... Wait, there's a little loop. Maybe go back, we can go over here. We get to kill this dude. My bad, if I, I am just... Ooh, look at that piece of loot. I am just 100% lost. As in, I don't know how to get back to where I was. Arc Drake robes and Arc Drake shield. That sounds interesting. Sounds interesting indeed. Uh, blue, 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 blue. Let's fi find it out. Let's let's check it out. Robes, you say? Arc Drake. That looks badass as whole hell. But of course, they are really heavy. Arc Drake robes. Robes of the Arc Drake sect of Lindelt. Little is known about the Arc Drake sect and its ancient rituals, and those who dare to indulge their curiosity have been known to simply vanish. The Arc Drake sect are the keepers of Lindelt histories, including the one only record of its foundation, a tome they have good reason to keep hidden away. Alright, well, looks badass, but a little too heavy, unless I drop my manchete. Let's just check out how it looks. Oh man, that is... Like, that, like the plushiest coat I will ever wear. I'm just ready for winter right here. Man, I am just so awesome. But of course now I fat roll. But if I go into here and just drop the gloves. I just have a slightly slower, slower roll. Let's just roll with this, right? <laughs> um, I would love... To get back to where I was with minimal effort. That would be fantastic. I don't know what this is, but uh, maybe I can wear the other super fancy beautiful, ro uh, beautiful gloves. I am almost at the 70%. But I just, you know, I, I just like how these gloves feel against my, my skin. It's just so fancy. Okay. So I remember being close to the other bonfire. What is this? I've even been this way. Oh my goodness. Oh. 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 Okay. I don't want to go that that way. I mean, this is the bonfire down there. I probably should. I'm going to just because I am near death. Not near death, but my... I would love to kill you more. Please die more. Uh, you know, the bonfire is right there. My Estes is almost depleted, so we're going to use this bonfire for the win. Am I close to anywhere else? Yes, yes, okay, okay, I, I remember now. If I go this way... Maybe the Belfry Luna is better. My bad, I know this is ridiculous. <laughs> Pretty... No, I'm not, I, this is where I'm at right now. You're just going to teleport exactly where you're at. I know you look like the fancy feeling makes you feel like you're... You're orgasming. Okay, I did not hit the one that I thought I was. So, who are you? The... Focator? I don't know. I think this is summoning somebody to have a honorable PvP encounter. I'm not all about that, honestly. I'm all about stabbing people in the back when they're not looking at me. 
So, I'm pretty sure this is the way I was before. And we want to go to the other spot, right? Ow. Don't appreciate you. I think you are a bad person. I know this is a sick burn for you and you don't appreciate it either. So we went there and we went up the ladder and it took us places. Oh my god, I'm going to retrace my steps all the way from here. Because I have no idea what I'm doing anymore. Hey friend, uh, you're, I, I know you are so ever so ready to encounter me. But, you know, I came to meet you. Because I cannot wait to skewer you with my weapons! Yeah! Let's just get the hell out of here. With my badass coat, man. I'm just, it's just so cozy. I'm kind of warm in, in this. But this is where I, I dropped. We're finding the place. Don't worry about it. It's a process. Don't judge me. You know me. You know nothing about me. Don't be judging me like that. Came this way. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We're totally getting there. There's these guys. And we go up the door. I mean, up the stairs. And then we go all through here. Oh, ho, ho. all right. So now I have a pretty damn easy way to get here. From. Okay, you guys are just so so crazy. Holy shit! Uh, easily kill me. Oh wow, that was of course a mistake. And I really don't appreciate how the move set does that. I mean, it's my fault for having so happened to have pressed forward and attack instead of just attack. But boy, sometimes it's a little inconvenient. All right, so now we are hollow. But since it's just one little bit of, uh, of health, it's really not that big a deal. So let's retrace our steps. Go over here, go up the stairs. Make it to the end. I am going the wrong way, all right? No, this takes me to the exact same spot that I was in right now, earlier. Yeah, because I come in through there. I want to just walk up to these guys. They want to give me hugs. I want to... Ouch! Man, I didn't realize that that's... They have had a very hard time actually damaging me before, but now they're landing all their shots somehow. And I'm going to just die again. Alright, there you go. I really should kill them. It's pretty silly to leave them behind. I'll rather not die twice, because that means losing all of the souls that I was carrying. That was like something... Stupid like 20,000, which is, you know, it is a significant amount. Well, let's not be stupid again. Let's maybe kill these dudes while they're easy to kill before they all group up and own my butthole in all sorts of awful ways. It only took us, uh, you know, 20 minutes of the episode to get it to anywhere remotely significant. I mean, I, I, we do get, did get a bunch of loot. We had a good time hanging out with the, these guys. It's not that bad. Free hugs, man. You should just take them wherever you can. Oh, man, there's a message from my pal. Derp, derp, derp. Quite irritating to have noises into my recording. I mean, actually, it looks important. I need to be right back. Marital emergencies, man. You gotta take care of them. Alrighty. So, we have a man at the end of this. And then a weird... Bro. A weird tower thingy. Might this be a boss? I thought for sure I would dodge that. I didn't. I would love to attack again. Thank you. Alright, let's go in here and see if we find a boss or... I did not mean to heal. I meant to go through. Find a boss, or it's just the next area. Probably a freaking boss. Sinners rise. So we do get a new area. That's cool. Continue exploring. So glad that I found the way to continue the run without having to oh just go elsewhere and just feel like a moron because I left it behind. Okay, this guy. It feels like it's a setup for an ambush. You go to kill that guy, and then this guy comes behind you and stabs you in the back, throws you into the water. I am onto you, Dark Souls 2, and your wily dickhead ways. Look at that. Look at that. You did not trap me. 
be pretty proud of that actually. Because it was a clear setup. He's like sticking his hand through the corner like, Oh, this is an easy kill. Haha. <laughs> Come get me, friend. Nothing bad will happen to you. You can easily kill me. But he's the bait. He also likes to debate. Alright. It's breezy. He would like to discuss the finer points of slavery with me. Uh, does this do anything? Probably just to call the elevator, right? Try two-handing. Yeah. I'm going to handle this, this shaft like I handle the shaft of my cock. Let's go up the little ladder over here. I don't know whether it's necessary to go into the elevator, but I would rather explore this first. Okay, there's a blood stain here. Lots of people dying. Probably just dropping into the abyss, and here's a bonfire. Don't mind if I do. Not going to be resting at it though, because I would rather not everything respond. There hasn't been a whole lot. Try arm and then joy. I don't know what that means. Hmm. All right, this looks like I cannot do anything. Oh, oh, loot. Ooh, I shall take that shiny. No, no, no. All right, that's neat. Now I guess we go into the elevator. Pachow. Uh, that's the way I came, right? Yeah. Okay, let's see what happens in the elevator. Probably face the boss and die horribly. Maybe I should. You know, all these enemies weren't all that bad. Let's go back uh, to the bonfire. It's really not a big deal. Back to the bonfire. To replenish my Estus. Because I feel it might become necessary. If they put a bonfire here, I am assuming. I probably should also spend my souls. Let's do it. I'm assuming we're about to face yet another boss. Very bon uh, boss heavy. Bo boss dense. This uh, citadel. The Bastille. But I might as well, you know, spend all of my there souls in more levels. Yes. Yeah, yeah. I basically am at uh, my goal of dexterity, unless we find something even more amazing that I want more dexterity for. So basically now, I'm going to just go bigger. Because I am so freaking weak and kill killable. We're going to just spin our soul levels into that. And like I said before, man, I would love to. I'm not going to will in this, in this run, but if I ever play Dark Souls again, probably will go and try to become freaking guts. Anyway. That's my steel. Uh, oh, it must be a different place. Probably this uh, Belfry Luna, no? Sinner's Rise! I don't think it's necessary to separate these areas like so. It's a little uh, overdone, honestly. But whatever. I mean, it's not a, like a gripe or something. It's just, you know, you didn't have to categorize so much. Run stab! Oh, poor guy. He wanted to kill me. Poor dude. Um, this. Can I light up a torch? And then light this up. Can I do it? I just want it. I just want to do it. Alright, probably don't even need to have a torch out. Whoop! Wow. She was so excited to get up that ledge. I probably don't need this torch for anything. But, you know, it's there. I'm going to take advantage of it. I'm not going to be caught by the trap that I avoided earlier. So, possibly lure somebody out. Yes. I provoked somebody. Where's the other dude? Maybe we can quickly kill this dude. No, 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 not gonna happen. Yeah, without paid spear, you know, the Uchigatana is great, don't get me wrong. Ooh, shit. Uh, Uchigatana is great. I need quite a few strikes to kill these dudes with just the Uchigatana. I do want to find out whether this torch is any good. What I can do, though. You know, real easy. Let's kill these guys first. Enjoy. Kill these guys first. Man, I rolled to to uh, like kill these guys and then go back and light up the torch again. I know it takes a little while, but it pays, man. It pays to be thorough. And I really don't want to come back up to light up the torch. It's so silly to be all hang up on this. Yes. Light up torch. Man, cool weapon, cool weapon, kudos to you. Let's use the stairs because, I mean, the ladder. 
Because apparently she's a little too eager to get off the ledge and throw herself into the water. I'm really digging this coat, by the way. It is super awesome. Anyway, let's go down and face our demons. Or somebody else's demons. The point is, we're going to kill a bunch of shit. Man, this is real deep. Oh, th is this leading, leading to the stupid cove again? Hope not. Some loot here. I'll take it. I'll take it. Lacer lacerating knife. That sounds interesting. How do you look? Lacerating knife? Boy, do I wish I could get rid of some of this stuff. It's so hard to find things. Mm hmm. Mail breaker. Dragon tooth. Ugh. Pretty sure they're sorted by. Was it a thrown weapon? Maybe. Is it that why it's not even here? Maybe. Aha! It's a thrown weapon. Sharp fruit knife that causes bleeding. That's pretty cool. We might uh, go for that if we ever find a vendor that sells them. Anyway. Try not to hit that elevator again. Hey, See? See? Vindication. Vindication right there. Look at that. Is this going to the cove again? Oh, wow. This is ominous as all hell. Oh, wow. Oh, shit. I'm scared. I'm immediately, immediately terrified right now. Uh. <laughs> oh. Please don't kill me, friend. I just meant to explore. You didn't have to be like that. Are you like a dual person? Yes. My condolences to your mother. Having to squeeze out such a horrible baby out of her vagina. Then again, you're probably just are some kind of weird random hell spawn that was simply created. Somebody waving their fingers. So uh, we have to fight this thing in this terrible location. Okay, he swings several times, and then he tries to stab me. Ouch. He's a dual wielder, to boot. He probably turns around in some kind of whirlwind attack. Maybe we can stab him in the... He has no back! You know, I'm like, oh, I'll stab him in the back! Uh, he has no back to, <laughs> to stab him in. He simply, you know, turns around, or faces you with his second face. And clubs you to death until you are uh, just a puddle of goo on the floor. I appreciate it. I think that was that was uh, well done. I think it was a good experience. I'll put it in my resume. Uh, net me good job, job security right there. What it's going to provide. So yeah, I guess we just have to rush down there. Pow! And you, I missed. <laughs> I feel bad. I can simply roll towards this guy. I'm so glad that I not just roll straight into the abyss. So we'll have to use the elevator again, which means we have to kill these dudes. Because I ain't got no time. Okay, so we have this dual wielding weirdo with two, two torsos. That is fun. I could use the bow, per perhaps. Just get him out of there and throw my arrows at his face until he's dead. That sounds kind of cheesy, but I might resort to it if he kills me again. Holy shit, and do we have to wait for this to happen? What we're going to do is what we used to do in Dark Souls 1 when going down to the ruins of Anne Orlando. I think that I just said that right. Um, ruins of Lordran, perhaps? Whatever. We're just going to send the elevator back up. The moment that we arrive at the bottom of this pit. And you know, they did just give me the lacerating... The lacerating throw knives. Maybe it says hint. Maybe it's saying, you know, maybe you should use this to kill this guy. Instead of throwing your head at his face. And getting owned in a million ways. Uh, no, 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 don't do that. Ah! <laughs> He's ready to own me. Alright, well... I like some arrows for you. He has also quite a lot of health. Quite a lot of health. Okay. Determined to encounter me and give me a hug. You know what? I'm really not interested in your hugs. I think that you are a, a bit of an abuser here. I think you are a little 
too enthusiastic. We're just going to shoot him from afar. Be a complete cheese, cheesy assholes. Not giving a crap. That's 89 damage per shot. Let's use this. 104. That's not bad. And it doesn't use any. I mean, it's definitely faster. Wow, he's so excited. Maybe I can use the heavy arrows. That does a lot more damage. So yeah, let's let's go with the heavy arrows. I do have a billion of them. Man, I am so disgustingly cheesy. But hey, if this was a place where I can move easily, you know, move freely, I wouldn't. I would try a bit harder to not be a jackass. But since they don't even let me move easily, I'm not even going to give a crap. He's just going to get whittled down by arrows in the cheesiest manner possible. And then we'll just move on with our lives. Now, come on, lock onto the guy. Oh, he's excited. Those are some badass move moves you have. Congratulations on having trained under, under Shao Kahn, the master of, of shadows. But you are now dead, thanks to me having long range and you having no flexibility whatsoever in your AI patterns. That looks like loot. Uh, I guess it's not. Ah, oh, there it is. Look at that. Large soul of a nameless fool. You know what? I want to have some light here. Here we go. Cool. Let's go back and get that torch. Is that? That's probably death, isn't it? Probably. Anyway, we're going to go into the water. If I roll into the water, will I lose my torch? Probably. Blossom Kite Shield. Right, lots of people that have died here. I wonder if that was the one guy, or there's going to be a bunch more. If I know Dark Souls, we're going to have to face way more dangers than this. There's already some kind of weirdo zombie over there that it wants to give me more hugs. Why don't we just run him through? with the sword and he dead all right probably don't want to continue down this horrible watery path hey more friends Sha! what else you got is there more terrible nightmares here i don't see anything it could be a secret door we're going to try all the walls there's nothing could have been you know it could have happened looks like a door here, have one. Man, he just dies. What's down there? Ooh, there's also places to go into and a... Oh, hello. Bastille key. Are you a friend? Are you a foe? Can I lock onto you? I can't lock onto you. You are not a friend. Well, you know, you're, you seem peaceful. How about I loot your, your cellmate here? Fire seed. You seem peaceful, but you know, probably in Dark Souls, you don't want to leave enemies behind you. I'll probably regret this. Uh, let me go on the record saying this. Before. So a lot of noise is happening here. Before, you know, stab! He takes a while to get up. He has a lo long spear. He seems to be kind of lazy and bent over. You should look into maybe a chiropractor or something. Okay. He is pretty fast. Uh-oh. No, no. He's pretty fast. He didn't, does not get staggered. And he will own your ass if you let him. Okay, well, you know, a learning process. Brand new type of enemy that I've not seen before. He is pretty tanky, too. Man, he takes a lot of damage. And we're back here. Much to my regret. But luckily now we can just drop down and hopefully we'll not get owned by all the soldiers here. Hey. No, no, my elevator. Huh? Whoops. <laughs> Somehow I knew that would happen and I still did it anyway. Because I am some kind of idiot. <laughs> I got no defense, man. I got nothing. Whoop, whoop. I got nothing other than I wanted to hurry, like so many times before. And I ended up regretting it, like so many times before. I dropped down. I totally can, but it's kind of dumb. And that is death. 
You know, it's good to find out that I, I die from dropping all the way from down there. I was just trying to maybe find a shortcut. It's just, it's all in the interest of science. You don't have to put me down like that. Dark Knight Stone. I don't know what that does. I mean, I didn't have time to read it, so I do not know what that does. It's probably some kind of upgrading material. Anyway, this is pretty silly. Wasting lots of time in a ridiculous manner. Quite clearly, we cannot work around killing these guys. Thankfully, killing these guys is pretty easy. If I don't throw myself into the abyss in the process. Really quite easy indeed. Double stab. He has a crossbow. So probably now we're going to get the dual wielding jackass again. Which is bad. I don't think I can outrun them e either. But maybe if I make it to the stairs, I can totally fight him on a on you know fairer footing. Probably better. Than facing him in the awful pool of water there. A pool of water and misery. That is this place. And I have no idea whether this is I mean this looks like a brand new area. I, I don't know if it's progress or just a sided place that I can go into and get nothing in exchange. I'm going to assume that there's going to be another of those fantastic super souls at the end of this. That's what would make sense, right? So probably we have to face another one. This guy all over again, right? Yeah, he's back. I don't want to do the whole bow and arrow thing again. What we can do is perhaps go through here and there's a gap in the wall. Just lure him this way. And maybe now just roll. And hopefully he will not chase me down fast enough to own me in the water. And now that I am on shore footing, I might be able to fight this guy. Or maybe he'll just get stuck back there and never bother me again. That would be cool. No, he is coming. He is coming for my blood. He is ever so ready to own my ass. Oh, but can he just not get up here? He can't. I just need to get close enough to provoke him. Maybe he can't. Maybe he, this is the, like his cutoff point. One way or another, we have to face this guy now. I mean, you guys know me. I'm being stubborn as some complete jackass. Um... Two swings, then the dual wielding stabs. Not even one stagger, huh? Wow. You have a fantastic amount of durability, friend. And now I'm gonna die. I'm going to die. Terrible, terrible, terrible death. Please run. Please run. Thank you. Okay. He's at least halfway. Man, look at that. He does this super fast stabbing. The thing is, I have no idea about his patterns. I'm still alive. Run. I have no idea about his patterns. So that's a bit of a weakness I have against this dude. There's a man that is sure to come over here and try to kill me. I can kill this dude? Yeah. See ya. Does he drop down here? I bet he does. I'm just trying to flee so I can get myself to fool. I really should uh, use one of them effigies. He's very fast too, wow. Okay, let's see if we can bait an attack. That was a different attack altogether. The fast thrusts. I thought I was good at thrusting, but this guy has me beat. You can do one attack here. No, there's no way you can... If he gets you with the first one, you're boned. Wow, this dude, I mean, I don't even have to kill him, but I need to now. <laughs> I have to, I must. I must do it. So we're going to try one more time. I'm going to take one of my beautiful effigies. Uh, because our health total is getting pretty, sta pretty sad. And we're going to leave the episode right there. Which you... There you go. Hey. Fear. Look at this, oh shit. <laughs> Look at this, an NPC. Every time I have this this doubt in my brain. Are you an NPC? Are you a person? Fear. Phantom. You look 
way too badass to be a to be a person. Let's just summon her. Love to know if there's a, a way to tell through the summon sign whether it's an NPC or another person. Hello, fear. Are you a buddy? Are you my buddy? Are you an NPC? Are you a weirdo? You're an NPC. No. Oh, it's another player. Okay, so fear. Okay, let's let's do this. Fear. I know what your deal is. But you have now made your way into this uh, Dark Souls series. Oh shit, I didn't uh, think that he would survive that. Maybe it is uh, not a person, actually. And it's simply that she detected the enemies. You know? You know what I'm saying? I think it's a person because uh, it was ready to go down this way. So, you know what? I'm just killing random shit, so let's uh, be buddies. <laughs> let's have a great time together. Wonder if she'll want... I say she because a female, char a female character, you know, that's just the convention. I uh, wonder if she'll want to kill the dual within jackass or she'll want to just skip it. One way or another, I'm not even concerning myself with it. And she's actually just going forward, so that's good. And I'm pretty sure, you know, like uh, usually people do. She's like, okay, let's go fight the boss. Oh, I'll take that. I'll take my thingy. But well, we can do this. We can fight on her terms today. It's okay. We can explore alongside this lady and then we'll be able to... We'll be able to... Hey, another. Selsor Luet. Yeah, sure. We, need, we can use all of the help in the world. Use the steel key. Haha. <laughs> Oh, the, I do see the fog wall back there. I don't know where fear went. Alright. Oh, she's killing my old foe! Alright, well, <laughs> that happened. That's okay. I, I forgive her. I'm sure she's a, a swell person. Oh, another Pharaoh's Luckstone. That's neat. Oh, yeah, this is their old friend with the dual wielding uh, shields. Would you. So basically we're going to face a boss. This is something I don't like much, but you know, now that I did all this summoning. Why the hell not? What are you trying to do? Se oh, ouch. Well, Celsor Luet is uh, just getting owned, so... He can just get killed. I don't give a crap. Alrighty. Let's find out what this terrible, terrible boss is. And probably we're going to die to it because it's the first time I encountered it. And we're going to be just humiliated. In front of our our beautiful friend here, that seems to do quite a lot of damage. I mean, she dispatched. Ooh, uh, intro. She dispatched our sleeping friend quite easily. Yikes! Oh man, there's some kind of weird lore going on with this guy, and I have no idea what it is. Okay, he's some kind of weird prisoner. I guess. Whoa! <laughs> All right. Those two attacks. She seems to know what she's doing, right? Man, that does a lot of damage. I'm not going to be lesser. I need to what? <laughs> I need to at least get some damage in, right? I'll run uh, cheap past this boss. At least I. Don't feel too bad that I avoided that damage. So that was a significant amount of damage, right? Oh shit. Please don't destroy me. But yeah, I do feel bad that we're basically cheesing this boss and not really experiencing him. He doesn't look all that difficult though. I'll be honest with you. I might be singing a different tune if I were facing him by myself. But the Lost Sinner is pretty uh, easy. A great soul embrace. Really? It was that easy? Wow. There you go. 
You're a good lady, fear. I commend you and salute you. Actually, I... Uh, war cry! Yeah. Alright, well, you know, my apologies. <laughs> I didn't realize that it was actually a... Uh, a player, and I, I feel socially obligated to, you know, not waste anybody's time. I am polite and nice like that. I, it's like I'm Canadian or something. Anyway, this has been the episode we vanquished uh, boss very casually at the end. He didn't look all that hard, honestly. I, I could have totally done that by myself. Psh, are you kidding me? Anyway, hope that you are enjoying it so far. I'll see you in the next episode. I will definitely go back and gather all the loot that I might have been able to gather in the rest of this area, and I'll see you in the next one. Until then, I bid you farewell.